Um, so, okay. So I would have, I already fought once, but I hadn't okay. trained yet. So, you know, if you know my story, like I, I fought a few times before I ever trained, um, I, you know, I just thought that, I mean, Chris remembers back then, I'm sure you guys remember too. I mean, it was just a different world, man. Like oh. these shows they put on, you just go and sign up, man. I would do a bunch of Coke and just be like, you know, I thought I was the tough guy on the block and, you know, I thought it was, um, you, you know, the guy that you're fighting in the bar, except you're fighting in the cage and, and then, okay, so so let me let me start a little before that, man. Can you tell any everybody like like your background, not real fighting, but what did you what sports did you do growing up? How did you get from A to B? What, what did you do? What was your what was your sports? Were you just a, a heavy metal guy? What did you do? Yes, yeah, so um, I was actually really good at sports growing up. Um, <laughs> in junior high, I was a, a real good wrestler and a football player. Um, I was on rec. I was on. Uh, I, was, I was on my the path to breaking the record for the mile in our school. You know, wow. I, I had a lot of a lot of good shit going for me. And then around uh, my freshman year, of high school was the last year that I played sports. I just kind of got in into the the wrong crowd. Well, I'll put it this way: I discovered drugs, alcohol, and pussy. And I was like, <laughs> I was like after it's school, dangerous I can, combo. Yeah, I was like, man, I, I can go sweat with the dudes and play some kids game or I can go smoke a smoke a bong drink a 40 and maybe get some get laid right so <laughs> you know the choice was you got tougher <laughs> every year um but yeah I just got into the wrong crowd and uh, yeah you know that was kind of you know on that on the same note that was kind of around the time um maybe around like my senior uh senior time so that was around like sophomore when i first started getting into drugs alcohol stuff around when i was a seniors when i kind of started digging pantera because it was the first time i'd listened to heavy metal that was like positive you know they, they had a like vulgar display of power and stuff was like a you know uh an uplifting metal album. type of music man rather than like most of the metal i was listening to like cannibal corpse was about killing people and shit and <laughs> worshiping satan and all this and and I was like, damn, this can be a positive thing and make you feel good, you know? So, um, you know, but my background was really, you know, my dad was a machinist. He had a machine shop. Um, I grew up in an extremely small town, population of 200 people. My graduating class oh, had 40 people. Check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms.